Brody. Start again as he did in the first innings. Going into the Australian top 89 for three. Two big wickets in the last 20 minutes. And Steve Smith looked a bit jittery in that over. He was almost caught behind, and then he was caught behind. And Australia uh, would say Boland's bottom. I mean, if he bowls a ball in the either right up in the block hole, but just short of a link. You'd have to think he's going to prod off a catch to one of those chaps in close. Right? The first innings he got bounced and it, and it looped up to a short, silly point. And it's a big job. It used to be Nathan Lyon's responsibility, but Bobby's been pushed in as the ninth one first. And Broad's on his way. Oh, Bobby. And Boland leaves the ball. It doesn't have to play at that. As it fizzed past the outside. No more wickets. Come on. Anderson. in South Africa. I think they lost two night watchmen many years ago. Put one up his nose. I'm delving far too much into history. One, there's one here, and we don't know what will happen next. If someone gets out, will it be Travis Head or Nathan Lyon? I think you're very generous to Scott Bowen there. You know, whether he, <laughs> he he played it or he left it. He definitely poked at it. Yes. He drew the bat. He might have played. I just dropped into the island for a cast sun's just starting to go off the water here we'll give it half an hour here and then go down to the bottom where it's probably our best chance have us a deep out there eight ten foot of water i suspect Some holes we just had something Come and take it, I'm pretty sure it was a sea trout. Just swung around in this rock, put me there, splashed on top, pulled, never hooked it though. I don't think it was the biggest, which makes me question it, but the fact it was sort of splashed on top was very sea trout esque. Don't think it was a brownie. Nice to have a bit of action. The sun's gone down now, so. This is the time. Well, this is the spot where we catch most of them. Big shelf on the far side and it drops down. So about two thirds of the way across, sit on the shelf, on the bottom of the shelf. It comes down at the bottom of the fence, there's a spot. And then normally what happens as it gets into the evening any fish that are whole resting here will come up into this faster water in the evening but if we're going to get any sea trout it will be in the faster water and then right up there in the fast water so that's going to drop in here in a second i'm going to go to the top work my way down and see if there's anything around i suspect the light's not great for this gopro now but it's going to be interesting if we see any fish coming down here is now 20 to 10 to 19th of June so we've probably got a couple of hours here first fish is on it's a sea trap driven by the squirrel It's all right, Dad, I don't need the nets. Fine, Dad. I didn't think that was ready. Uh, you want the ready. Whoa! It's good fish, whatever it is. Whoa, yeah, look at that. I think it's a big sea trout. Could do the net, Dad. So if this is a sea trout, whoa, it's my biggest. Ooh, heart racing. I'm 
five or one. Two. I think it's a big sea trout. Yeah. I think it's a big sea trout. Yeah. Whacked it. I knew I won. Yeah, well, when you haven't caught many this year. Well, that's nice to get off the mark. I've seen one fish and that was about where it showed bad fish and then it showed just above him. We both saw it. I'm pretty sure it was a, that was the fish. I'd be very surprised if it wasn't. I thought it was going to be a sea trout the way it splashed around on top. I actually thought it was bigger than, than, uh, than that. It's a big tail on it. Yeah, very nice to get one. Not the freshest, but that's a great start. It's a little pull then. Impossible to tell. A good whack, but just pulled a bit of line. Could have been a trout, to be fair. Probably was a trout. It could have been sea trout. Salmon was just a classic. Everything just tightened up. I did nothing. Just it was on. It wasn't retrieving, it was just on the swing, everything tightened up. It's a textbook really. Definitely the spot. If, where dad is, it goes into the deeper water, it's slower. I'm sure they come up into this faster water in the evening. Definitely that fish, that salmon there, which was an older fish. Definitely. I suspect moved up. I mind saying that's a bit of extra water today, so it could have just been moving around a little bit. I'm sure, there's another chance for one of us tonight. Half tens, but we've got another hour. Always feel the sea track. Don't need a fast retrieve. Just swing round and often take it right on the you're about to lift out. They don't have to whack it hard at the end. I think he flies about station when bang. Funny, I've only seen one fish show. You'd think tonight there'd have been plenty. I'm sure the fish that we did see was probably the one that we've caught. Typical, as soon as I turn it off, sea trout nails it. I think mean, that's definitely a sea trout. Morning, Tuesday, day two. About 20 past six, half past six now probably. Sun's just broken through. Literally his first cast and the sun came out. Oops. 
see what today brings. Just put a trout rod, single hander up, and a little tungsten, little orange tungsten head micro tube. we know works in this spot. The shelf's about two thirds of the way out. Drops off. Quite on the hot spot yet. The advantage with a trout rod is fish the fly right back to you. Right under your feet because it will follow it all the way. Have them follow it and you lift your fly out and they swirl at it. If you had a double handed rod, you'd have gone to recast before your fly is close in. Right, it's about half past nine. I've just had a bit of killing sausage baguette, 20 to 10. So, come to the ferry. Cloudy. There's this lift of water that's maintained, so you know it's not loads of water, but six inches, seven inches, which is good. You can see where it's come up on the gravel there. Got to be a fish in here. It's got to be. The spot tends to be between. It's always a fish off this croy, just below, and then anywhere between that croy above, and then in this bit here, confident of something being in there. <clears throat> Starting to think there's no fish in this river. I've seen nothing today. Now, it's been dry for six weeks, so there can't be many fresh fish coming in. I'd but I would expect to be more residents around. In the past, there's always been a few shown in this deep back of this deep run here. You know, if you can't catch them, you sort of know they're there. Often one showed off this croy, but nothing, we're seeing nothing. There's been, you know, no fish on the spay. Very few fish being caught off the tweed. You think, well, it's low water, bright sunshine, but actually, Start to wonder whether it's just a really, really, really poor season for numbers of fish in all these rivers. I definitely would have expected to see more fish over the past 24 hours. I've not seen one salmon today. It's June. It's got a storm passing through. You can see the rocks now out of the water. see if this rain lifts the river because it's probably come through the catchment. Mist is bad. Surprise, surprise. Seeing nothing. Thing. Oh, just about to say, last cast. Wow. Yeah, last cast. I've just turned my camera on to say, caught nothing. Wow. Decent as well. Told you this mist was always good. again I was winding in to uh, pack away and properly last cast I 
The only thing that kept me going was I kept catching brownies. Should we get the net off the boat? Hmm. It's not bad. Okay. Oh yeah, it's on the angle, isn't it? Yeah, very good. Yeah, I think you have to at, at, at the side. You have to do it. So, ah, it's off. Ah. Ah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was good fish as well. Fish, it? Yeah, bollocks. So annoying, just about to pack away. Wednesday morning, quarter past seven. I've been fishing for about an hour. Nothing so far, but it's a bit chilly. They come through. Income stream, nothing. I'll just put a slightly heavier fly on, maybe a bit deeper. Say so this is coming into the most likely area in the garden wall. I've seen one fish that I think was a sea trout. Ideal here with this bit of breeze on. Just come up to the ferry at the top, as you can see. The river's dropping away now. That colour's gone out of it, not that it was dirty, but it's back to crystal clear, really. And probably an inch, maybe. So back to being reasonably low, but... I had five yesterday on the junction, including a couple of fresh ones, so there are some fish creeping in, which is good. That fish last night that I lost, I'm sort of convinced it was a fresh fish, I'm no way of really knowing, but the fact that it took where it did and the way it fought, I think it probably was, in those misty conditions. I think it's going to be a case of keep going. It's good to know that the junction got, so I've also got six rods fishing the junction and they're probably spinning a bit as well, so a lot of water down there. I think we'll get something. We'll get something, we've just got to keep working. As always, last thing's your best chance, but if there's fresh fish around, you could pick one up at any time from anywhere, really. change 
It's just right there, look. Little fly change and then we're gonna try down by this fence. It's a bit sunny, really sunny this morning. It's only ten past eight. It's the warmest morning we've had by some way. Now's the time, it's about quarter to 11. It's exactly the time that you'd expect one. I've seen one show out there. fish this is. <laughs> Not hear it? <laughs> I think so. Absolutely mad when it took it. Now it's just holding. Should we get the net? Oh, I don't like that splashing. Oh, that is a kipper. <laughs> No, it's a long way out. A big one as well. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll go out into slightly deeper water and net it in the slightly deeper water. You might be able to get out there and net it. Dad, you might creep up on it almost. Look at it coming in now. It's going to go mad. There you go, quick. Oh, it is. Oh, I thought it was just going to slip in that net then. Yeah, if you get out. Just, just, yeah, it's a long way out. It's gone right out again. Come back a sec. Awesome. Leave it on the top. 
Oh. <laughs> oh. Hey. 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 Twelve pounds, isn't it? Yeah, Anyone's well, money. Probably. It's got a stiz. Oh, it might be perfect. Oh. 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 Oh.